Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV and today I'll be doing the synthetic benchmark review of Intex Aqua Extreme. It is a newly launched device from Intex and costs around 11,500 bucks. So for testing the phone, I ran two benchmarks, NT2 and Geekbench 3 uh, benchmarks on it. But first, I would like you to run down a few specifications. As you can see guys, the phone is running uh, in uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat. It got MediaTek processor with 8 cores. The render the graphic processing unit is Mali 450. Screen resolution is 70 pixel that is HD1. The total available RAM is 1964 MB that converts to 2 GB of RAM and available is 1479 MB. This is around about the same RAM uh, we get on the first boot. Uh, so system storage is 1.14 GB and the internal storage is 26.85 GB so in total of 32 GB internal and system storage. Uh, it's a 32 bit device, 8 cores, and a screen uh, density of a pixel density of 320 dpi, which is uh, pretty good. Now, the sensors it supports direction, sensor acceleration, sensor light, e compass, and proximity sensor. Apart from these, these things are not supported. So, N22 Benchmark gave this phone a rating of. A ranking uh, of 33099 which is a pretty good extremely good ranking for a budget device I mean it's you're costing you just 11,500 now let's see what was the rank this phone is ranked above HTC one above Xiaomi Redmi Note and above Asus Zenfone 5 and is ranked just below LG G3 so that converts to a pretty good amount of RAM now let's see what Geekbench 3 has to say. The single core score is 435 and the multi core score is 2359. The single core score, uh, as we can see, Galaxy S5 got 938, Kindle Fire 900, LG Nexus 5 860. The single core score of this device is a bit low because these are ARM MT6592 processor is powering up this phone which is a bit mediocre processor and single-handedly it cannot give you that much power as a uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro or Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 is providing but on the other hand the multi-core comparison you can see guys it is 2359 with, with all the 8 cores combined you can see this phone is, I mean, trashing the competition. It's a budget device. Still, it's defeating the likes of Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, it, it's comparable to LG Nexus 5. It's defeating Sony Xperia Tablet Z, Asus Nexus 7 tablet, LG Nexus phone are all below it. So, guys, this thing is, most of the times, uh, your multiple cores will be in action. Not a, all eight cores at one time, but multiple cores will be in action while multitasking or you know playing heavy games and the benefit is single core will be in action when you will be performing a simple task like texting or uh, maybe uh, sending uh, another message on some uh, online uh, text service so at that time your uh, single core will be in uh, action and uh, that will result in minimal battery drainage so uh, i give it a thumbs up uh, on uh, I mean benchmarks are giving it a thumbs up themselves and I give it a thumbs up because of uh, the hardware it is running I mean 2 GB of RAM uh, 8 core processor and uh, a definitely good graphic processing unit now the work of graphic processing unit and a more practical usage of all this power will come alive in uh, the gaming review of Intex Aqua Extreme uh, I'll be playing um, guns and um blood and glory sorry blood and Glo glory hungry shark and asphalt 8 airborne uh, uh games on this phone uh i'll be also uh uploading a video camera review of this phone shortly there will be a full in-depth review uh and also i'll be comparing this phone with uh, motorola moto g second generation and uh, HTC Desire 620G smartphone 
all these devices are currently the hottest selling devices in the market and we will be seeing how index racks up against them so guys one thing i would like to ask you is to kindly hit the subscribe button which is flashing below the screen or above at the top right that way we can stay connected and you will get notified whenever i'm up to these review which will be in a really short span of time so guys kindly subscribe and stay in touch